Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the locked on stabilization effect. For this effect, I recommend having a video with 4K resolution or larger. Since we have to zoom in a lot on the image and we will lose resolution in. If possible, when you record the video, try to record at a high shutter speed. So you avoid having motion blur. Keeping these two things in mind, we can start to make the effect. Once we have our video in the timeline, we must go to the Fusion module of DaVinci Resolve. We click on this icon of a magic wand. Now we have to go to the Effects panel and look for the Tracker effect. Select the effect and connect it with the Input node and the Output node. Or you can also press the Control plus Space keys. And this window will appear here. Now look for the Tracker effect. We click on it and click on Add. In this way, the effect will automatically connect to us. We see that we already have the node with the tracker effect correctly connected. By clicking on the tracker node, this green box will appear above the viewer. Now we must click on the S corner upper left of the rectangle and drag it to the area we want to follow. I am going to follow the face, but for example, you could follow a headset that the person is wearing or an object. To track the face, I am going to follow only a specific area the nose, since it is an area of high contrast. And obviously, the nose is going to follow the same movement of the face. This larger rectangle is attached to it. It is an area that also follows the movement but with less intensity. Is secondary to this area if I am going to select the entire face. Now we must place ourselves in frame zero. That is, right at the beginning of the video. When we finish adjusting everything, if we click on this icon with the arrow, it will start tracking. But before, in adaptive mode, I recommend you to select the option Best Match to obtain a better result. Now, we click on this icon and we see that DaVinci Resolve is following the movement that the face makes. We have AF face lobbing and jumping all over the screen. All normal. We wait that DaVinci Resolve does all the tracking until the end. Press OK and go to the Operation section. In Operation, select the Match Move option. Now I'm going to show you another free effect. It's only 20 seconds and you may be interested. Search for the text effect and connect the node with text to the Tracker 1 node. In this way it will connect with a green line. Now write the text you want. You can change the color in different parameters. Now, in the Layout panel, you can place the text by moving the X axis and the Y axis. I'm going to put it above the head. This text that we have added will follow the same movement of the head because it is connected to our tracking node. Cool, right? Let's go again with the stabilization effect locked on. Eliminated the text node and click on the tracker node. In operation, select the match move mode. In the merge section, select the background only. Now we will have the locked on stabilization effect but we see that on the edges of the viewer we have areas without information. On the right, below and also above. To fix this we go to the Effects panel and look for Transform. Now we connect the node of transformation with the Tracker node and the Media Out node. We make sure that it is well connected. Then in the Transform node, we must increase the size bar. For this reason I told you at the beginning of the video that it is better to have a 4K video since in this effect you always have to zoom. Now we play the video to see if we have fixed. From below it is still wrong. Now instead of increasing the size we can move the video on the Y axis. Downwards this is how we don't lose image quality when zooming in. We're done. You already have your locked on stabilization effect. I hope this video has helped you. See you in the next video.